300 THX stainless steel solar water heater, it will arrive consisting of several components and parts. Depending on what you order, there will either be two 2.5 square meter collector panels or two 2 square meter panels. There will also be a large tank carton as well as a box of parts and a bottle of heat transfer fluid. Inside the tank carton, as well as the storage tank, you will find a long collector cold flow pipe, some tank mounting straps, a hot collector return pipe and an owner's manual in a sealed plastic bag together with four tank hand carry hole covers. Roger will tell you more about these shortly. There will also be a box of valves. Watch now while Roger goes through these parts. The part of the kit that you'll get received with uh, one of our closed circuit um, systems is a, uh, a bottle of ST5 which is a heat transfer polypropylene glycol, food grade quality and a parts kit with all the components necessary to connect the tank and the collectors together. Just open it up now and show you a little bit about what's in here. Okay, to start with we've got a closed circuit charging kit. We provide one of these with every product that we sell. We'd like you to leave it on site. Uh, it's uh, best kept with the owner, but if you do take one, we do have them as spares as later you can get, but this is all a part of the initial purchase. Inside this plastic bag is a some hoses, a little pelican pump, and uh, a push bike pump. We'll explain a little bit more about why and what we do th for this later, okay? The next thing is this pressure gauge. One of these is supplied with the tank for purpose of again bolting onto the kit and leaving there for permanent use uh, and for also commissioning the system initially when you've just uh, after you've put water in the potable tank. The other devices here are the speed uh, clips for the um, insulated um, coal pipe, a parts kits list, screws for, for this, a thermosiphon arrestor valve which is a little bit unique in the closed circuit system so we're going to talk a little bit more about that later, a connection for the expansion vessel, a Khalifi 100 kPa jacket venting valve, the Hotcon connection for these devices to go together, again, we'll show you a little bit more about those later. A connection between the cold uh, pipe to the collectors and the jacket uh, in, uh, outlet pipe. And this has got a Schroeder valve on it, again, which we'll talk a little bit more about and explain a little bit more in more detail what we do with this, the gauge and the push bike pump. Just keep that in mind later. A fluid connection um, kit for fill assembly and a key to uh, ensure that it's all uh, charged and locked up and that's connected via a stainless steel wire to the brass fittings. The rest of these components are the collector unions, plugs and uh, bends for the uh, collectors to join to the tank. Uh, this is quite simple to follow later but um, we'll, we've got uh, more detail in the owner's manual which again is supplied into the, um, uh, the tank. Last but not least, is the expansion vessel. vessel. Um, this is used in all our systems because the, uh, there's a thing called a no-load test in the AS2712 uh, testing requirements. When you expand, we've got, to, we've got to be able to control the temperature from the collector back into the tank. And when the thermosiphon arrestor valve closes off, expansion will occur and this takes up the expansion back into, from the collector's back into this. So this is a necessary component of the uh, installation. Again, we'll show you a little bit more about how we do, what we do with this. It's connected to the top of the tank and we've got a, a, a mounting kit which is provided for this in the tank. And last but not least is a, a, a cover which we put over the top of that to uh, house it. Uh, obviously, uh, the red doesn't do too well out in the sun, but putting this over the top will prevent discolouring and uh, also help with weatherproofing it. Inside the tank we have an owner's manual which is heat sealed and these four items which are uh, included in that are uh, hand covers, the handhold covers for the main tank. Obviously there's a lot of weight in a, a tank, in ours it's one of the lighter ones, only 57 kilos, but we have hand um, hand holes in the end of each of the uh, uh, black ends of the tank to be able to you to lift the tank around and carry it across the roof. And to finish the job off properly, we have these hand covers which go in, clip into that to give it a nice flush finish and also a weatherproofing. We'll show you a little bit look, what they look like on the tank in a minute. At the end of each of the tank are two of these hand, two of these hand holes which allow us to put our hand in there and carry them across the tank. 
and so when we finish the job and it's in place, we can then close it up with the uh, hand covers which I showed before. There's a left and right of these, quite simply, just put it in there and then bend it back a little bit, clip it in, and away you go. Nice and flush, weatherproof, and gives a better appearance. This is what we call our speed clip. It's designed around our collectors. You'll see in the frame of our collector we have this large slot that runs all the way around the collector and also one at the bottom here. This top one is, uh, controls the, the grip of the trim, which has an EPDM seal under it and holds the glass in place. Underneath that is small gaps which allow air to move freely into the collector under a controlled speed, if you like. What we have on the side of our collector running down to the bottom is a, uh, a cold pipe, that's that long silver pipe that you see. What we want to do is we want to hold that in place because it's a flexible stainless steel pipe, we want to make sure it stays in position all the time, we want it to look good as well and also be robust against the elements. We don't want these things corroding. So we've designed this speed clip. Uh, it easily slips underneath the, um, the, the slot at the top here or the trim and then in the bottom there's a hole which allows us to put one of these screws which we've designed around to fit exactly into this slot. You won't have to drill anything out and it won't punch or pierce the main body of the, uh, absorb of the collector uh, frame. So this is, um, now he's going to go in and we've got it done, locked away in there nicely and this is a stainless steel cable tie or a tie um, and again what we do is we put our pipe in there and we're able to then close that up and that will then rip uh, to a position where it will hold the pipe in position all the time. As this is all stainless steel we won't get any corrosion through to the elements. Now we've got three of these with each kit so what we'd recommend is whilst it's easier to do it's easier to do on the roof it's far, far better to have it on the ground you've still got your your packing styrene position so you won't you can lend it up, lean it over on one side like this evenly space them one in the middle one down the bottom and another one about up here and put the three in position so what we're going to do is now is i've got the bottom one in position or the top one depending on which which um, which way you're coming in through it got another couple of these here so we're looking at the collectors about midway here put one in here you can move these around any time by unscrewing the screw and sliding it up and down as you can see they move very easily along once you're in position a uh, little bit of toggling gets them in position properly and again each of these screws are just situated so it goes straight into the slot and uh, not punch pierce or uh, penetrate the uh, main uh, collector tray body Oops, here we go. That one's done. Last one. They're really just saying we need to, it's easier to do it on the ground. It's easier to do it on the ground because you've got the, see I've got that a little bit bent on that one, so I say okay, well let's, let's just move it, no, I don't, don't like the look of that, bend it, take it down a little bit, okay, now nice and easy to put in together, um, no pre-drilling required, you can even do it if you don't have a, an electric uh, driver on, you can even do it with just a hand screwdriver if you want to. And then that just clips over, run your cold pipe all the way. So this is the cold, these are for the cold pipes only. Obviously you don't need them for the hot pipe.